Hey y'all, it's Red with the Shine Shack. The channel that's all about making quality shine with less of your dimes. <laughs> anyway y'all, today we're going to do a good one. We're going to do peach brandy today. It's one of my favorite liquors to make throughout the year. Today's the day. I'm going to do a 25 gallon mash with 2 pounds per gallon. I got 52 pounds of peaches. I'm going to put some pectic enzyme in them, sugar, and let them roll. I'm going to walk y'all through it step by step. But oh, at first, I want to take a minute and say something. We did lose Shiner Sam this week, y'all. If y'all could, raise a glass for him. I didn't know him personally, but I dealt with him on Facebook some, and just I've never heard a bad thing about that man. So y'all say a prayer for his family, please. In these Facebook groups, I see people being assholes, the beginners and other just people in general. Y'all, we're supposed to be a brotherhood. Don't dog somebody because they use sugar and they don't do all grain. They've been using sugar for hundreds of years, y'all. I mean, moonshine is moonshine. That's the beauty about this hobby. Do what makes you happy, what you like to do. It's all moonshine. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. Do what you like to do. And most importantly, have fun with it. But I'm going to get the water on the pot, get some water heating up to invert some sugar, and get these peaches thawed out real quick. I'll be right back, y'all. Right, y'all, I got 10 gallons of water in my pot. I'm going to bring it to a boil. I'm going to add some lemon juice. You can use lemon juice, citric acid, cream of tartar. Going to put that in there. We're going to add our sugar. We're going to let it simmer for 20 minutes to invert our sugars. Hey, y'all, so the water's up to a boil. We're going to go ahead and invert our sugar. I may have to add a little sugar at the end because I like my gravity for a brandy to be between 1.075 and 1.080. So I'm going to go ahead and invert 35 pounds right now. If I have to add a little bit at the end, that's fine. At least most of it's inverted. I don't notice a whole lot of difference when I invert, but I just figured I would. So I'm going to add some lemon juice. I don't measure it. I believe you're supposed to use a teaspoon per pound of sugar per gallon of water, some shit like that. I just add lemon juice or citric acid. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that. I just use bottled lemon juice. You don't have to do this neither, y'all. You can just add sugar. You don't want to add too much. Go ahead and start dumping it in. I probably added Probably about eight teaspoons. That was 25 pounds. Stir it up real good. Once I get all my sugar in, I'll bring it up and let it do a good simmer. And here's 10 more pounds. All you have to get that in and stir it. We don't want to scorch it and burn it. All right, I'm gonna up the heat a little bit, y'all. Let this simmer for 20 minutes. I'll be right back, y'all, once we get done inverting our sugar and we get ready to mash some peaches. <laughs> Make sure y'all burn them damn sugar bags, y'all. All right, y'all, you don't have to do this, but I do. Spray my barrel down with star sand. My barrel and my mash paddle is the only. All right, y'all, I got 52 pounds of peaches total. Uh, if you look at them, they're real soft. I like to freeze mine for two weeks before I use them. Let them be good and soft. It helps break down the fibers in that fruit to help you get more juice out of it and stuff. Freezing it does. Helps it break down. You don't need a knife. We're going to get the pits out of them. I don't like the pits. But we're going to do all the peaches like this. And then I'm going to mash them up with the old 2 before. Then I'm going to get them in the barrel. And before I pitch my yeast, I am going to add some pectic enzyme. To help get more of that juice, and as much juice and flavor out of the peach as we can get. These are good old North Carolina peaches. I got a farm that I get all kind of fruit from. After this peach brandy, I'm going to have a blackberry brandy and a muscadine brandy coming up soon. 
Hey y'all, so we're gonna take the old trusty two by four, pop them down. I got 52 pounds of peaches. I am not getting a damn blender out. This right here, they're so soft once you freeze them, it breaks down the cell walls in that fruit. They turn into a mush easy. I like using sugar, y'all. I don't do all grains that often. I'm gonna do one in a couple weeks, so. I just think it takes too much grain. To me, I don't notice a big whole difference. Then I don't add too much sugar. Alrighty, y'all, I'm gonna get these peaches down in here. Didn't take no time with old two before. I don't own like a damn fruit press or nothing. Cause I don't need one. Next, I'm gonna add my 10 gallons of cold water. And then I'm gonna pitch some pectic enzyme in there and let that sit for about an hour. Then I'll come back and add my inverted sugar water from earlier. That's the last bit of her cold water. I'm gonna hold a little bit back. All right, I'm gonna give her a good old mix. Some good old peaches. Oh, man, the smell. Y'all, it's time to add the pectic enzyme. Then I'm going to let it sit for a couple hours. Come back and add our inverted sugar. That's the pectic enzyme I have. Just get it at your local brew store. It's one teaspoon per gallon. We're going to need five tablespoons. I got 15 gallon in there right now. Wish YouTube had a smell button, because I'm telling y'all right now. Most of the time, I only do one pound of fruit per gallon of water, because I use my thumper for infusion. I'll use fruit and juices to pack that flavor in there. You get a damn good product for a hell of a lot cheaper than doing five pounds per gallon. But I just happen to have enough peaches to do two pounds per gallon, so. Smells so good. You can make, and I had a comment about you ain't supposed to add sugar to brandy. You don't have to. If you want to buy a shitload of fruit and juice it and everything, you don't have to. I do. And there's some distilleries that do. Alright, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, y'all. And when we get back, we're going to add our inverted sugar water, the last 10 gallons of water. Add it, check our temperature, and get this yeast pitch and get her rocking. I'll be right back, y'all. Alright y'all, it's been two hours since I added the pectic enzyme. I'm going to go ahead and add our inverted sugar and then we'll check our gravity. We got our inverted sugar in. Do our good old stir. Check her temperature. I may have to add a tiny bit of water. Yeah, we're at about a we're at about a hundred fifteen. I need it down to ninety. I am gonna go get us go ahead and get a sample so it can be cooling so I can get a gravity reading. I know I've said this before, y'all. Make sure when you're checking your gravity and even when you're proofing liquor, most of these hydrometers are calibrated at 60 degrees. So if your mash is way hotter than that, you're not getting an accurate reading. So make sure you either, there's a calculator you can use. I actually have it on my phone or the paper that comes with your hydrometer. But a hydrometer is the most important tool you can have being a distiller. And 
And I'm going to set that to the side. Look how pretty. See, it's got some pulp in it, but it'll be all right. I'm going to set that to the side and let it cool. So I don't have to do much of a temperature correction. But I'm going to let this sit open for a little bit. And I'm, I'll be right back, y'all. I checked the gravity and did the temperature correction. It's sitting at a 1.057. So I am going to add a little sugar. Not much. So like I said in the beginning, some of the sugar wasn't going to be inverted. But I just went ahead and done the inverted sugar today just to kind of show y'all how to do it. You know, like I said, you can measure the citric acid or lemon juice when you do it. I personally don't, as long as you don't overdo it. I've done it several times, so I about know how much to put. But if you're ever doing it, you're going to be adjusting your pH. Because you drop your pH too much, your yeast ain't going to be able to survive. It's just going to go dormant. All right, y'all. I'm going to add some sugar, and I'll be right back. Hey, y'all, so... With the temperature correction, we're at a gravity of 1.075. I was shooting for 1.075 or 1.080. So we got our gravity right. Our temp's still at 104. So I'm going to leave it sitting in the shine shack for an hour or so. And then I'll come back out here and throw the yeast to her. All right, y'all. We're going to pull a temp. Get a temperature on it. So we can aerate it and pitch our yeast. It's at 90.7. By the time I aerate it, I'm going to go ahead and lay the yeast to it. That's fine with me. It's 90 or below. So normally I always use EC1118 yeast for all my brandies. Well, after I had already made this mash, I just realized I don't have any EC1118 yeast. I am out, and you, I cannot buy it local to me. I have to order it. So there's no way that this mash will sit in time for me to get yeast here. So, I have some bread yeast and daddy yeast on hand. I don't care for bread yeast. I don't like it. So this will be my first brandy I've ever put daddy yeast in. But if y'all are getting the recipe from this video, I do recommend getting EC1118 yeast, doing a yeast starter. It's always worked great for me. I love that. It's neutral, so it don't add any yeast flavors. You wanna always come up to the top to aerate it real good. Get some oxygen in it. Alrighty, that should be good. And you can measure yeast normally for this barrel. I would put about eight tablespoons, but you ain't gotta be precise with this stuff. As long as you get enough in there. A lot of people make this stuff too complicated. It's not that complicated. Making liquor is really relatively easy. Just coat the top with some yeast. And I'll give it a quick stir. Within four hours, she'll be rocking like it ain't nobody's business. So I'm gonna recap the recipe real quick. Use 52 pounds of peaches, 25 gallons of water. I ended up using right at 40 pounds of sugar. I used six tablespoons of pectic enzyme. And then I just pitched about eight or nine tablespoons of daddy yeast. So that's my recipe if y'all want to try it out there will hey y'all just a quick update this is four hours after pitching the yeast it's done formed one hell of a cap on it and she's a working hard make sure you knock your cap down at least one time a day when you do a, a brandy if you're using an airlock don't pop the airlock but if you're doing open fermentation 
knock that cap down one time a day it'll get dry out and it can grow mold on it and stuff and ruin your whole damn mash y'all that concludes the peach brandy we're all wrapped up keep a lookout for a part two of this video when we actually put it in the steel and infuse and infuse and infuse with the thumper that's the beauty about how I do my brandies and stuff. I use less fruit in the mashing process, but I pack natural flavors into that thumper and infuse throughout the run multiple times. Comes out cheaper and in my opinion, a better product. But that's the beauty of this hobby. Do it however you like. I'm showing you how I do it. If you choose to do it my way, that's awesome. If not, that's great. That's the beauty in this hobby. Traditionally, brandy is distilled on a pot still with a worm. No thumper, no slobber box, no infusions. I understand that, but I like to use a thumper and infuse. That's what works for me. Using a pot and just a worm may work for you. I want to thank everyone who has already subscribed to my channel. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. I got a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of December. If I meet that goal, I'm going to do a giveaway. And also, I'll probably do an off-the-wall crazy mash. I think that'll be pretty cool. I'm also thinking about selling some t-shirts. The Shine Shack t-shirts. It'll have my logo on it and maybe a mason jar on the front or something. I don't know. If anybody would buy one, comment and let me know. And I'll go ahead and get some made and start selling them. I want to thank y'all for everything. Shine on.